Hello everyone. I am your faithful servant slash host of the evening by the name of Steven. With me, none other than Sir Lame. Hydra. <laughs> what? Sir Hydra. I like that. Yeah. We uh, Before we do anything, we're going to kick this off by trying out our wheat farm because all the wheat is pretty much grown. So, shall we? Yeah, do you want to do it or? Yes. Wah <laughs> It's gonna take a while for it to all get here. Ooh, I can actually see them dropping from the top too. Wow, look at that. That's so much. It's still coming. <laughs> we'll have one of us pick it up and count how much wheat we got from that, I guess. Yeah, I'll do it. So this doesn't until the soil, right? Nope. That's baller. One thing I added was like glass along here so that you can't accidentally, oops, I picked up some. You can't accidentally trample it when you're planting seeds, so that's good. And you can see that some seeds are on the side, but look at how much you're getting anyways, doesn't really matter. Yeah, I might run over here and grab this real quick. Yeah. Whoa, it's I'll spilling go. out the back, dude. That's a problem. Really? Yeah. Something happened here. It's like all spilling out the back. I got 11 wheat behind the back. Oh, idiot, it's your glass. <laughs> oh, my bad, dude. Turn it off. Okay. Open glass to protect you. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so I got... Brilliant. Is it turned off now? Okay, so I got 32 wheat from that and... Uh, s like, 64 seeds. Is that right? I, I think I had some seeds on me already, so maybe, like... 10 seeds. So it's pretty good. Yep, time to replant. Yep. Alright, so we're gonna pick up the episode in just a minute here. Okay, everyone. It occurs to us that we still have a couple other farms we need to build before we are fully self-sufficient, so we're doing a reed farm now. Pretty simple. We dug a trench in the ground, put a block of water, and we got reeds on this side of it here. What we're going to do is have a wall of pistons that will push off the top of the reeds into the water, which will flow down to us, where we can collect them. This is very simple. Probably been done many times over, but it's a classic, so we're going to do it. Um, I have a ton of sticky pistons if you need them. It's just hard to put them the right edge. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to have to... I think we're going to have to redo it this way. Yeah. See what it does? Yeah. It depends Stupid on your... Stupid sexy pistons. There we go. Oh no. Stupid sexy pistons. When you say sexy piston, I imagine... Dude, what are you doing? Oh, I put them wrong. My bad. <laughs> when you say sexy piston, I imagine that the green stuff is something other than slime. Oh no, I was imagining Flanders. Oops. Oh. You know, stupid sexy Flanders. It's a Simpsons quote. Yes. Anyways, um, so w the reason that I'm putting, I went too far. um, the reason I'm putting cobblestone at the end of it is that when you just put pistons, then the reed kind of gets stuck in the piston, which is kind of stupid. Uh... So I'm using the cobblestone to push it so that it's pushed wholly instead of just broken and then falling. That makes sense. Um, the reason I'm doing the two levels is because if you break the top level, the middle level doesn't work. And if you break just the middle level, the top level will just fall straight down. So if you push both levels, they'll both be pushed into the water. Um, the reason that I'm not doing the bottom level, which is really obvious when you think about it, I don't want to replant these. So they will grow and they'll be self-sufficient. Woot, woot. Oh, they're already growing. Yep. Now all you need is to wire them all, and send me a thing here. If only we knew how to use redstone. Yeah, if only I had someone who... To be honest though, I don't really remember how I wired these before. Is that bad? Like, I know how to do the bottom ones pretty easy, but I don't remember how to do the top ones. Well, first of all, if you're going to wire a piston, you need to wire it above, not under, you see? Oh yeah. I don't know anything about pistons. Redstone genius over here. I don't know anything about pistons, man. Come on. 
Are you kidding? I'm dying again? I really hate this hunger bullshit. Yeah. Notch, if you're watching this, fuck hunger. Yeah. As as though he would ever ever watch our little LP, you know? Okay, so that's that row. How do we do the top row? Oh wait, can't you make him come down also? Doesn't that work? I don't remember how you did it. Figure it out. <laughs> I'm trying. Ah. I swear, if I fall down again, I'm just gonna quit. Nope. Hold, hold your your hold button. I think what I did was maybe with like redstone torches or something. Hmm. Oh, that's right. We used uh, repeaters for all of it. Yep. That's what it was. I think. That's right. Do like that, maybe. And then one here, or wait, I don't remember. What happens if we power this repeater? Ha, ah, both. Both of them work. Nice. So yeah, that is how. Do you want me to go make some? Yeah, please. Uh, we need- uh, How many do you need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. Ah, uh, redstone. Where do you want the lever to be? Uh, I'd like you to set up a collection as well as the button at the same place in the front somewhere or wherever. Doesn't really matter. It could be on the side. Do you want it to be like the kind of pressure plate thing that we did for the pumpkins? Um. Or the melons? A, bu a button should be good if you put enough um, oh, button. delay on the coming back. Oh yeah, everyone. Because you can't make the piston fire out and then come back in really fast, otherwise it won't work. Everyone who's wondering before, what we used to make the melons work was a T flip flop. That was the answer. Oh yeah. It's I was telling Hydra, it's like if you have a clicking uh, ballpoint pen, you click the top in one time and it stays, and then you click it again and it goes out. But it's the Ooh. same button that does it. It's not like a RS nor latchery of two buttons. So. Because I know what that is. Do you have any stone? Regular stone? Yeah, I got two. Doesn't help much. Oh, God. That means I need to smell a bunch of... Yep. You left shit in the furnaces again. That doesn't sound like me. Do you know... Do you, do you want to know how that pisses me off? That's like leaving the seat up for a woman. That's how much it bothers me when you leave shit in the furnaces. Do they not like that? <laughs> You're married, aren't you? Yep. I know they don't like that. I'm, I'm kidding. So, yeah, that's how much it bothers me. Wow. So, you're saying, just telling you when I'm wrong here, that you're a married woman, and when people leave... I could be. When people leave shit in the oven, meaning you, since, you know, you're the married woman, then you get mad. Did I miss no, anything? No, the furnace. Right, furnace. Oven. I'm not a furnace. Do I look like a furnace to you? Don't uh, answer that. Okay, I will not answer that. Point is, when there's glass and sand in there, it's like leaving piss on the toilet seat. <laughs> right. Right. Piss, toilet seat. Loud and clear. Alright. Um, it's melting. There's not much I can do. Okay. Um, basically, I mean, we're, we can. Are we even gonna cover this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just doing the infrastructure. Yeah. Um, it doesn't really matter where you want to put the collection as long as the button is right next to it. Okay. So, you know, whatever. Check it out. Buttons right here on the wall. Maybe I'll change the material so you can see it better. Where's my button? Change it to wool. You, you don't want to make it further than that? Like, that's kind of... What? I don't know. What? It's right here. You Doesn't matter. Hit it when you're sitting here. No, I know. I'm just... Well, first of all, when you make that closer... 
don't know. Like here? Sure. Oh, here, let's Doesn't just really put matter. it on both. Sorry. Oh, what a save! You're watching hockey. Of course, I'm Canadian. Did you bring my repeaters? I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. Good. They're very, very slow. I hate um, smelting stone. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Shouldn't have to do this. <laughs> I still haven't had I don't understand how putting cobblestone in the oven makes smooth stone. That doesn't make any sense to me. Sure it does. You know, you never put rocks in your oven and had a bigger rock come out before? No. Should I have? Yes. <laughs> Oh, well, thanks for clarifying. Um, I might as well go check out the awesome mob spawner while I'm at it. Might as well go fight Plaque and Gingivitis. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me find the quote online. I don't remember how to say it. Okay. The actual quote. Ooh. What? I hit the ground too hard from jumping off one block. Are you serious? My guy's a puss. Wow, you guys saved my life. Even though I said all Southerners are dumb hicks who suffer from the gum disease known as gingivitis. What is that from? Family Guy, of course. Oh, uh, okay. Shmounting. Nine more. Works. Oh yeah, we need to put glass on the other side so it can't like fall down or anything. Yeah, well, that's what school. I said. We need to cover it and stuff. Yeah. Almost done. Okay. So one thing we do, guys, is you put uh, glass around this so that the reeds all fall in the water. Yeah, you don't want them to fall either straight down <clears throat> or above or uh, across. So you put it like the th river three high off your water, like this. I'm out of glass for the time being, but that's what it looks like. And you can put glass on top too if you really want to be safe. Okay, I'm gonna make it. I, th I think I can tell when you alt tab because the server slows down. I never alt tab. Oh, then maybe not. It's really slow right now. Like I can't even eat my watermelon. Poor you. Oh, it's because my health is full. That's why I can't eat it. Maybe. <laughs> oh yeah, four two Ottawa. All right, here's your repeaters. People are gonna know when this episode was filmed now. It's going to shatter the illusion. What illusion? Who cares? Uh, how many did you make? Like 15 or 16. I don't uh -huh. know. I just made whatever I had out of stone. Or I, I did it until I ran out of uh, redstone torches, actually. Alright, give it a whirl. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, they flew. I caught one over here. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's why you need the glass, guys. Alright, check it out. All that. Every time you harvest, you get uh, all this sugar cane. It's like 18, 20. Something like that. 
But yeah. Yeah. That's our farm. I guess we're gonna pretty it up and then we'll be back to show you the end result. We'll be back. Okay, everyone, we have finished uh, the reed farm for the time being. We haven't put a cool structure around it, but this is it. We got glass, so the reed can't pop anywhere but into our water. The back, just uh, got your repeaters going into the blocks with your redstone. And I have that going down into a button. So all you do is you stand here to collect it, hit your button, and all the reeds come down. So pretty simple. Uh, nothing super unique going on here, but it's very effective, very efficient, and very compact. You can squeeze this into a small space, so I like that about it. This one gives you one, two, three, four, five, seven, like, I don't know, like, times two, yeah, you know, close to 20 reads or some crap like that. Let's see how many I have on me. 37, not too bad. <laughs> gives you 16. Yeah, so... Um, it occurs to us that for we want to close all these things off into buildings. And in order to close the wheat farm off and still have it get sunlight, we need glowstone, which we don't have yet because we haven't been to the nether. So the next episode, we're going to go to the nether with mobs on. and. Well, no. Next episode, we have to go look for um, what? obsidian first. We have to go mobs oh, yeah. first. Yeah, so first we need obsidian, which will be pretty easy. Then we'll make a port of the nether, get some glowstone. And it will be hilarious because I'm terrible at fighting mobs. So, stay tuned. Episode complete. <laughs>